200 pages into the manuscript, there's a portrait of Sir Geoffrey Luttrell himself, seated on a massive war horse. Above him, in Latin, are the words, The Lord Geoffrey Luttrell caused me to be made. Solemn-faced and deep in thought, Sir Geoffrey is dressed in armour as though he's about to enter a tournament or ride into battle. His horse wears armour plate too, and a blue surcoat bearing the arms of the Luttrell family, a diagonal gold line between six martlets, or swifts. Beside Sir Geoffrey stands his wife, Agnes, who's handing him his helmet. She wears a fashionable gold-trimmed gown. Her shoulders and neck are covered with white linen, and she has short, plaited hair, over which she wears a gold headdress. The helmet she's holding is a massive battle helm, with a lowered visor and cross-shaped breathing holes. Made of steel and padded with leather, it would have been very heavy and extremely hot to wear. Next to Sir Geoffrey's wife stands his daughter-in-law, Beatrice, who holds his shield, which again bears the arms of the Luttrell family. From the family records, we know that Beatrice was married to Geoffrey's son, Andrew, when he was only seven years old. The picture of Sir Geoffrey, armed and dressed for battle, was probably painted when he was quite old. But as a young man, he'd been one of the leaders of the army that fought against the Scots, an army which had been defeated, possibly because of the heavy armour worn by the English knights. <laughs>